Hey Flock, Mike here from Epic Duck Studios, back with the test bench, continuing to test more Citadel contrast colors. This time I'm going to be testing out contrast Agaros Dunes, and I'm using a model here that I've already base coated with Citadel Base Wraithbone. As before, I primed this model with Badger Steinal Resin White and then coated it with this pot of Citadel Wraithbone through my airbrush because I don't have the Wraithbone rattle can yet. So we're going to just give a nice sloppy coat of Agaros Dunes over this whole model, see how it looks. This model is a bone construct from Barnabas, Lord of Blood from Privateer Press's Hordes. Now comparing this to the Skeleton Horde that I've already done one of these uh, constructs in, this is looking a little more yellow. It's definitely got a bit of like a, a richer kind of sandy feel to it. I wouldn't necessarily want to use it on bones like this, but I can certainly see it working really, really well on, I'd say wood and leather, uh, little terrain bits as well. You know, a lot of bases have incorporated terrain and this could certainly work with those. And even certain Space Marine or um, Chaos Space Marine chapters or legions, I think could really benefit from this color. So one thing I've been asked is if you have to use a white base coat to use these Citadel um, contrast colors. The answer is absolutely not, but if you're using a white base coat, or near white in this case, they usually recommend either Gracie or a Wraithbone, which are just sort of warm and cold white. You know, if I were to apply this over a bright red base coat, I would certainly get all the shading effect, but I would be getting a very, very different end color. And so there's probably a lot of, you know, really, really interesting recipes we're gonna find people discover over the next, you know, several months when they use a specific contrast color over a completely different base coat. And one thing I'd like to test in the very near future is actually putting them over metallic gold and silver base coats. Because I could see this actually working to give you a really kind of, you know, worn out old metallic look. And I think if you were actually use this over a steel, you'd still end up with a bit of a gold because it itself has such a, uh, you know, it's a very pigmented tone already. So I think I'll be trying that maybe even later today. We'll see. All right, so there is a Garros Dunes over Wraithbone base coat. Oh, missed a little spot in here. I will be letting this dry and coming back to see how it looks shortly. All right, so here is the bone construct with the Citadel Contrast Agaros Dunes fully dry on it. Now, you can see it actually really tinted the surface of the bones to be yellow, and then added a nice, deep, almost dirty feeling shadow. And that's a lot of positives, but I feel like these bones are way too yellow to be anything but like a magical construct. I mean, obviously it's a magical construct, it's a pile of, you know, animated bones, but you know what I'm trying to say. It doesn't have a natural feel to it, it has something sort of a little bit, you know, out of the ordinary because it's just so yellow. So I could see this working with, you know, environmental effects, rocks. You know, there's so many cases of tactical rocks or tactical boxes, etc., on bases now that there's always going to be room for something like this in a very general sense. In a more specific sense, you could use this for a lot of other things like leather and wood, I think, would really benefit from this color. And there's certainly other things as well. It might even work well to apply over some gold to really just etch in the shadows. And I'll be experimenting and I'll be experimenting with how these different shades look over metallics in the near future. Hey, if you enjoyed this video here on YouTube, please hit like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notifications when I post new videos. You can also join me at twitch.tv slash epicduckstudios on Thursday, Friday, and Sunday evenings at 8.30 p.m. Eastern for live painting and sculpting shows. If you'd like to support the show, you can do that at patreon.com epicduck. Every little bit helps cover the cost of paint, models, 
and all my video production gear, but more importantly, it helps keep food in my kid's belly and a roof over his head. I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my patrons and Twitch subscribers, both past and present. Your ongoing support and encouragement is really what makes this possible. Thanks for watching, and until next time, do something epic.